Oh, 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 oh. No, please, for the love of fucking god, not the game guru engine again. Why, Lord? Why'd you punish those who serve you so? I. Oh. Hello, lovelies. I'm the Fragnostic, and welcome to another episode of Let's Slay. What? Uh, I mean, do, do you need the title of the game? Does it matter? It's the fucking. Has there ever been a less appropriate name for anything than Game Guru? It's like calling a bucket of bleach Eyesight Master. It's like calling a dumpster full of used hypodermic needles Anti-HIV Fun Pool. This... This is the fucking antithesis of gaming summed up in one vomit-inducing splash screen. And you know the worst part of all this, don't you? Steam knows there's a massive problem with shit like this on the storefront because their most recent solution has been to try and bury them under a separate new releases tab. Well, here's a bright idea. Just launch the fucking thing before you approve it for sale. And if you see this title screen, this... This sexual assault in title screen form, just put it out of its misery. You're just wasting man hours on the refund process, Steam. You know you are. You, you're not fucking listening to me, are you? You never do, so... Here, as per usual, I'll do your job for you. Here we go then, Tick Hunter. Is it about stuff? You bet your exasperated size it is. Tick Hunter, a first person game of elements of horror. Couldn't even be bothered to spell the name of the fucking game right. I... Oh, I remember when I started this channel a couple of years back. I never even touched Steam before. How amazed I was that crap like this was allowed to exist. I was just getting back into gaming after a four year hiatus, you know. Maybe the last real thing I'd played before then was Shadow of the Colossus, and I come back and, uh... You fucking ruined everything, you maniacs! God damn you all to hell! Ah, uh, alright. It's alright. The pre-video Xanax is kicking in now. Doctor's orders. He didn't believe you could get higher blood pressure from playing video games, so I sent him a gift copy of Taken. They found him hanging in his office last week. Was there even a key there? I... That's fine, that's fine. Well, do I need spectral glasses to play? Oh no, there, there it is. A barely, barely visible sword. He's pretending it's an airplane. Oh, on your guard, lovelies. We're in the gardens of death. Oh no, blooming flowers. R.I.P. Artem. There's your Kickstarter $500 tier reward, Artem. Enjoy. Fuck, I haven't even swung the sword yet and he wants me to switch my weapon out. Oh, oh alright, that's gone forever now, is it? Oh, good. Look at the texturing on the hatchet. What? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's like the texture wrap for a fucking barrel that's just been ripped off a of Google image search and dumped on... <laughs> Mercy of God. Oh, nothing to kill so far. But then we are hunting ticks, so we might have stepped on a couple hundred already here. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. Get ready to slaughter. Absolutely nothing. What the... What the fuck? Does Game Guru take a piss test from you when you order it and only put the sale through if you're a habitual fucking crack addict? Look, there's an invisible barrier in the middle of nothing for no reason. No reason! What the fuck was that? I got a mace! Shut your mouth! Did I pick up that key? Or did the ticks take it when my back was turned for that split second? Oh no, no, it just completely vanished from sight for some reason. Couldn't even see it in the first place. I'm just trusting that these keys actually exist and these gates are actually locked at all. Dead city. You know, for once, maybe that isn't just a foreboding name. Maybe everything really is. Oh no, oh shit, something to beat up. I've been training for three whole minutes waiting for this moment. R.I.P. Artem. Holy shit, he has a friend. Former line, ladies. Dignitas is open for business. Uh, oh, 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 they're everywhere now. You're too slow, you damn ticks. You damn three millimetre parasite. What is this, Russian? Is this what ticks look like in Russia? What's the life expectancy of pest control agents out there? Three days? It's nice that even though they're hideously rotted on the outside, they have a perfectly preserved digestive system there too, look. So not only can you eat people, but you know your bowels aren't gonna fuck you over for it. 
This is taking too damn long. But, you know, I got them corralled now. I got them where I want them, so if I go and look for a better weapon now, they might disperse. Bottom of the screen yelling gibberish at me. Attention! In the church, there was a monster. Yeah, well, it's no fucking picnic out here either. Besides, the church is the monster. Do a little reading. And no, watching Zeitgeist does not count as reading. Nearly there. Plenty of room in the graveyard after this, eh, dead city mayor? Why, you've killed everybody, you maniac! But uh, I thought these were the ticks. Ticks are microscopic parasites, you idiots! We got an infestation of them in the stables. I, oh god, Mrs. Patterson. Mrs. Patterson, speak to me! I, the best ending for this game would be just killing a bunch of unrelated monsters. Getting right to the end and then just pulling a single tick out of your pubic hair and squashing it between your fingers. Oh, you dirty little bastard. Tick Hunter! Oh, nice move, son. Bright light city, gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Uh, what's that? Every zombie in the game now? It's gotta be, hasn't it? Shit, we forgot to add zombies in the first two areas. Oh, that's alright, just stick them all in one fucking area. Game Guru will do the rest. Trusting game guru. Is this the church? There's no monsters here, you lying bastards. And even if the- Oh fuck, a key that physically exists. Hey, this is getting better. You can't deny it. You can almost see the direct results of the user manual being read the further we go here. It's not a key for that gate. Which keeps screaming about a monster in the church. The game that cried wolf. Nobody's gonna come running when you- Oh dear god, there it is. By church you meant not the church at all, but actually behind a wall at the back of the city. That's, that's totally fine. And not in any way annoying as fuck. Go away. Bigger problems have arisen. Alright, um... Jesus. Yeah, this is going exactly as fighting someone with twice your fucking range should go. Oh, maybe not. If I'm even hitting him. It's hard to tell, there's no kind of contact noise here. Man, this is a boss battle for the ages. Well, maybe it isn't, maybe he's kicking my ass, there's really no way to- Oh, no, no he is now. He's found his range, god help us. Retreat! Love how the health meter starts freaking out and giving you the heavy heartbeat noise when you lose three points of health off your maximum. It scratched me! Oh god, I'm gonna fucking die! Is he about to drop dead too? Should I risk- There was one medipack that I've seen in this whole game and it just vanished when I dared to look in another direction, so I mean... It says I've got three lives down there, but who knows how this fucking checkpoint system works. If there was any justice, there'd be a checkpoint back before I paid for this piece of shit. Alright. Got me a halberd. Got me- Fuck me, I mean... I hate to keep dragging up the same issue, but the texture on it, Jesus Christ. It's covered in shit. It's covered in bandages or toilet paper or something, like I've just murdered a mummy or attacked a portaloo. Gonna have to kill this fucking troll, aren't I? He's making my search for the key troublesome. Just, just a cry of pain would be nice, just a moan or something, so I know I've actually hit him. Alright, let's grow some balls and get him while he's stuck on that wall. FOR ARTEM! Don't worry Artem, I'll avenge you. Cautiously. Just use the blade, mate! What? Did I hit him there? Was that- Ah ha ha! Go fuck yourself! Biggie! My word, what a riddle that was. Game Guru, should I bother giving the player any indication that they're swinging at anything other than thin air? Never! Gamers today want everything handed to them on a plate. When I was down in the mines before you were an itch in your daddy's batter sack, swing my pickaxe for hours in the pitch black, never knowing if I was hitting coal, thin air, colleagues, shaft supports, or what the fuck. Game Guru, do you know a single fucking thing about anything besides mining and drinking in the shed? I know I could slap the smart ass out the pretty little vagina you call a mouth. What? A crossbow? 
There was a fucking crossbow all along. Perfectly blended into the ground. You have got to be wiping my ass with unicorn hair, you son of a bitch. Game guru, where on the map should I put the crossbow? On the part you roll up and stick up your ass. There is no monster in any fucking church. Look, no monsters. All the monsters are dead. I fucking beat them all to death with a mace. Obviously not knowing that there was a crossbow ten feet away from me. I don't... Unless it means a church back at the start of the game. Could it... Well, you can't jump... Fuck off! Game guru, how do I create a fair but challenging mechanic on narrow ledges? Occasionally map a left strafe to the W key. Fuck em. <laughs> I have turned every inch of this shithole upside down. There is no monster. There is no... You're joking. You're fucking joking. It was two feet away from the gate the whole time. It was... So, I didn't have to fight any of the zombies. I didn't have to fight the troll. I didn't... What is this? Two feet away as well? Yeah, ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Well... Jesus, first level syndrome, I guess. Only gets tougher from here. We might even get some actual ticks on the nick. That's it. That... That's the entire fucking game. I... I just... What?